Yo, welcome back. This is Stu42 with another Minecraft episode. Uh, what have I done since last time? I've upgraded a bunch of my chests, these gold chests instead, so we can start fitting a few more things in. Uh, I went for a big walk, so I went for a massive walk out to the Slime Island where you can see a death marker is, uh, let's just get rid of that. Uh, there's a death marker out there because I did die got smacked around by a big king slime uh and so what i've done from there is i managed to get myself a bunch of slime uh i was going to i think this might actually be ready no not that one compressor or do i just have it hmm ah that's right i had extracted from a sapling to make this, to make 12 of those, to put into the compressor. Uh, what I was looking at making was this thing here under, uh, where is it? Uh, transportation. So under transportation, there's this jetpack version 0.1 alpha. Not really a jetpack. I think it's just a bouncing, yeah, a bounce pad. Uh, so I needed the three congealed blue, one congealed green. Uh, slime channel being what looks like pretty much any sort of slime with a bucket of water and two redstone so what i'm gonna do we'll get actually let's just do that quickly at the start of the episode um no we're gonna need to potentially put that in there no come on surely we're able to turn this into some slime balls from there centrifuge no Wow, no, purple slime is one of the weird ones that we can't do much with. Okay, so let's try green. Let's try, well, we've got six of those already anyway. So let's get that. Two of those. Uh, we've got a bucket already. See, I've planted some trees, uh, some slime trees, that is, since I've um, brought those back, which is nice and helpful. So six of those there, that and that there. Let's get some water. Slime channel. Oh, I think I need two of them. That's annoying. That is annoying. Let's go for two more of those. Grab some slime. Now I think there's the three of those. And I think in the extractor. Yeah, so the extractor will give us four out of each one of these, uh, which will give us enough slime to make the other channel. Uh, and then we can have two slime channels, one congealed green, three congealed blue. There's the three blue, plenty of green. Uh, where are we? There we go. Four, and the other four of those. Now, while that's cooking, uh, there's another thing that I just wanted to touch on quickly, and that's under multi-block goals. I know I said this time we'd start with power stuff, and we will get there. Um, there is just going to be a couple of things I need to do first. So under here, this actually unlocked a bunch of things at some stage. Now, I'm not sure when. Um, this here is the time to get some steel. Uh, teaches us how to make, essentially, the blast furnace, or the bricked blast furnace. Um, I'd already made one before this, so I actually, rather than having to get all this again and do the whole blast furnace again, uh, I have another um, I have another character that's an admin on the server, and I actually, well, it's kind of cheating. I um, I completed this quest or set it to complete for me um, since I've already done all this because I didn't really want to go through it twice, uh, and I wanted to see what it unlocked. And sure enough, it unlocked this two times steel. So we need 64 steel to start with, and then we need another 24 fire bricks and another bricked blast furnace. And the hint is in here, we can have a second brick blast furnace and it can share this middle wall here. So we can have one, have two controls here, which is gonna be really handy because we're gonna need a ton of steel. So what I was planning on doing uh, in the first little break in this video uh, is to go and make all of that. Get all the steel, Get, it, get some more of those bricks, make the second um, brick blast furnace, and then start making a ton, well, not a ton, but, you know, twice as much steel as I have been making. Okay, let's get this. There we go. Awesome. So that will be undo transportation completed, and now we just need the bounce pad, which is... Yeah, you know what? Let's just do it up here. Three of those. One there, one there. 
that one there bounce pad complete let's grab spawn slime oh, we've got heaps of purple we've got heaps of those let's just go for the spawn Ah, hasn't unlocked anything else. That's okay. Um, the other thing on the multi-block is the steel multi-block tanks, and this is one of the reasons why I think we're going to need a ton of steel. So what I will do... Yes, a heat proof. We're a while away from doing it. It's the electric blast furnace. Uh, we could probably do some automation. Here, yeah, another... This is a 2x2x2 two by two by two steam oven, which, again, we're, I'm not sure we're going to need very soon. Uh, so what I might do is... Ah, sorry, where am I going? Tier 2. So what I might do is we'll start getting a bunch of steel and a bunch of these machines and see where we go from there. Getting ready for Tier 3. Uh, basic ore washing. Oh, an ore washing plant would be fantastic. So we're going to need, like, yeah, a lot of tin, a lot of steel, a lot of machines. Um, so I'll go away and come back. Uh, and I'll hopefully have enough stuff for the second blast furnace and hopefully uh, a ton more steel. And we can start looking at what machines we want to make from the first electric um or well, the first series of electric stuff um and then hopefully some space down here as well i also might yeah i might in the break just replace this dirt with um with glass which is one of the reasons i put the dirt there in the first place was to um keep it ready for glass anyway i'll be back in just a bit once i've done all that stuff probably a lot of time for me and a very short amount of time for you uh, so we'll see you in just a bit Ta-da! We have our second blast furnace. I've moved it along a little bit, uh, but as you can see there, they're showing the middle wall, uh, both happily running. Um, I've done a few other things as well, not quite as much as I thought I was going to do, <clears throat> but I've replaced it with some of the glass, uh, just because glass is a bit of a pain to make, um, just to let some more light in. It's starting to look a bit better already. Uh, I'm not sure what I'll replace that dirt with, something. Um, I've made this room here. Now, those of you that have played any pack with Twilight Forest before will realize that that is going to be a Twilight Forest portal. Um, up here, I've made a second water tank and moved it around a bit. So I've put these two tanks here with enough room for another couple. Um, I've replaced the pipes with large wooden pipes instead, um, feeding from both of those just because I think I'm going to need more water. Uh, this is feeding into the same same coal boiler and the same oh, it's raining uh the same solar boiler there uh and we're getting a few things done as you can see i'm making more glass i've made more iron i've moved some stuff around here um so what was i going to do next so i was thinking about i've been trying to get as much steel as i can like i was saying um i do really want to get a bunch of these machines done i was sort of hoping to do this lead here uh, unfortunately, to get lead, you kind of need Galena, and Galena only spawns in the Twilight Forest. So, hence me making the Twilight Forest portal. Uh, I think I'm going to... I don't think I'm going to be able to get the lead before getting some of these machines, though. So, things like transport pipes are going to be really awesome. But again, steel, 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 lots of steel. Um, and also steel for the multi-block tank as well, which I want to do. So I, I am going to do the steel tank. Uh, so what I will do is, again, it'll be pretty boring. So I'm going to go away and do all that stuff and make a bunch of these machines. Maybe hollow out this some more because I want to put some big tanks in here. I want to sort of, I want this to be this industrial feeling sort of, sort of place. So uh, I'll put a big, maybe put my steam, steel steam tank in here and put the next boiler over here and just have it running completely separate from that one. Um, with the water running out to here. Yeah, I might do that. All right, I'm going to go away and I'll come back once we've got a bit of a tank and a whole bunch more steel done. Uh, and we can hopefully get the boiler and at least that steam turbine plugged in so that we can start making some power. Uh, and then maybe even the first couple of machines being made. Um, and then that'll probably be it for the episode because I have talked a lot and a lot. Well, I normally talk a lot, but talked more than doing in this particular episode. So, um, We'll come back, get some machines done, and see where we go from there. See you in a bit. So once again, a ton of time has actually passed in the real world. I've done quite a lot of things behind the scenes, including, yeah, making a lot of pieces that we're going to need. Uh, one of the things I did was I made all the stuff for the steel tank. I made 16 electronic circuits, which in hindsight was probably not the best use of resources, uh, given that I had to do it the slow way for a lot of the wiring and stuff. 
Um, I've been harvesting a lot of rubber and a lot of other bits and pieces. Uh, the first machine though that I think we were going to make is the wire mill uh, and indeed in the quests <clears throat> in the quests up here uh, the wire mill is the one that has the special thing so uh, I'm pretty sure somewhere in here it tells you what sort of task it is uh, anyway that that special symbol I think means it's a core quest Oh, there we go, main quest two, hold down shift on that. So main quest true, that one main quest false. Uh, so the wire cutter is obviously the one that they think we should be doing first. Uh, so let's get that one done. Yeah, I'm not gonna make these until I get some wire mill action at least, I think. Uh, so we're gonna have to put a different steam thing over the side, which is what I've started doing with this up here. Uh, we're gonna go for the solid fueled firebox that we made oh, probably a while ago now. Um, and we'll put it like we're going to leave a bit of space for things to happen so I might just put it I don't know let's, let's let's give heaps of space for things so let's put it there we'll put that on top cool we got a steam boiler there we're gonna to need to pipe some water into it so let's throw that there uh, where are we here yep so another one there. Now I'm using giant pipes. I did have someone comment on um, a couple of my videos. I think it was someone called Jane, uh, who has said that there's slosh mechanics in these pipes and you know you should use the right size pipe for the right application. Um, for water though, we're always gonna have these pretty much full. And in fact, you can see it's sort of sloshing there a little bit and before it settles down. Oh, and another one there. Um, but I figure because we've got a big water reservoir, these are just going to be full no matter what anyway. Um, and there we go. Indeed, we've got some water in the steam boiler, so that's all good. Uh, we're going to need to pump the steam out into a tank. Now, I'm going to put the tank up on blocks here. So what I was thinking was if we put the tank here, so this will be, it's going to do the same sort of design as the other tank. Uh, we'll put the, put that bit in the bottom and we'll have, oh look, I've even got, whoo just enough space. So potentially not the best use for the first steel tank, but it is what it is, so let's do that. Oh, hopefully we can land on that without hurting ourselves, yep. And we can get the rest of the sides done. Now we're gonna need the other one of these to be, let's put it there, let's go for that there. Now we can add more windows to this later, but for now let's just put the two window blocks on side for a bit of a quick visual representation so there we go oh, wow a million legs is not going to need much more than that um, I will find some nice legs for this at some point now that should be lined up with there so we can have steam piping straight up and into there with a bit of luck so we're gonna need some bigger steam do I have any big pipes large clay not really what I want so 1200 liters per second well these are spare and they should do the trick for now i don't imagine this is going to produce tons of steam uh, there we go and there exactly four awesome now i suppose we could just power that up and see how we go with making some steam let's i've moved my charcoal over to here uh, let's go. Burn, baby, burn. All right, so while that is burning, what we're going to do is we're going to have the steam come out of here and down into our... Oh, where is it? Yeah, I made seven LV machine hulls as well. Yeah, I've been pretty busy behind the scenes. Uh, where was I? Where was that little device? There, basic steam turbine. That's what we want. So this is our first block that produces power. This is going to be an incredibly basic setup. Um, for now so what we'll do is we might even put this I don't know if we need to 
Yeah, I might put it just to the side because I'm really not sure about pumping steam into the top of one of these things. I'm guessing that there is where the power comes out. Yeah, so I'm going to need a bunch of cabling as well. So I think tin cable is pretty much all we can do at this point. Uh, which means we're going to need to grab some tin. Uh, what do we want? 12. Uh, let's, let's make a lot. Well, actually, mm, no, we don't really need a lot right now. We just need... Yeah, probably not many, because we just want to make the wire mill to begin with. And once we've got the wire mill, we can make wires a lot more efficiently. And that's kind of where we want to get to. So let's grab that. We'll get some instant wire. Awesome. Now we need some covering for that, which means we'll need... Oh, we're going to need a few... Oh, no, no. We need the... Where are we? plate mold actually I think I've been making yeah I've been making some more rubber anyway that's okay so let's just make a bunch of plates like that there we go some tin cables uh, what did we need we need some more pipes for the steam to come out the bottom of the thing so let's go for Bronze is usually pretty good, but it does use, what did it say? It's like 1600 per second or something. It was pretty crazy. Awesome. So we've got steam there. Do we have steam getting in here? Yes. Success. Cool. So we can't, I oh yeah, can just see the steam coming in there. I wonder if that's going fast enough. It appears to be. Appears to be going fast enough. So there is this thing with the steam boiler where it won't expel the steam unless it's above the halfway mark. Um, so we will keep that running and that should hopefully fill this up with a bit more steam. Um, this thing here, the basic steam turbine, which should be in here somewhere. Because we're looking for the word basic. Right, gas turbine, steam turbine, there we are. Uh, 1600 liters of steam per second. So that should tell us how much we need to spit out. So it's going to be so good getting some powered machines for this. Be a bit faster, that's for sure. There we go, six of those. Let's just see. What do the sideways ones look like? Hammer and... Nope. We need the... Wrench. Twenty four hundred a second. Big ones. Oh, forty eight hundred is fine. Eight hundred. So eight hundred is not enough. Twenty four hundred a second. All right. So we're going to use those ones. Huh. And two will work as well. Right, so basic turbine is doing stuff. Cool, now I guess we need our we need our wire mill. Should we leave that sideways like that? You know what, for now I think we will. Yep, so that's where it definitely connects to. So I might tidy this up in between episodes and maybe change the layout a little bit and put this wiring under the ground a bit. because um, we do get a loss a loss per block on this which is yeah one eu volt per meter which is probably one of the better loss rates i mean you can get zero but they're a bit hard to make those cables um and they only go up to 32 well the fun ones we can make at the moment um, are only ultra low voltage so they're not really useful to us at all uh, but for now these machines uh so voltage in is 32 but if you look at some of the recipes like once we make it um oh in fact we've got the two Oh, that's awesome. So we've got the two tin cables already. I did make these four motors. A couple of those. One of those. Oops, we have 
Well, uh, there we go, basic YML. Let's uh, make sure we claim our rewards. Awesome. Cool, so now with the YML, look, for now, let's just see how we go with getting it working. Now we need more of these, so let's, oh, look at that. Wow, we have power and that is so much faster and we're getting like four times more. Because normally it takes three tin to make two plates, but then you only get one wire from each plate. So that's, what's that? Two wires from three tin and now we're getting two wires from one tin. So we're three times better um, using the wire mill. And as you saw, so much faster. Wow, that's cool. And this is, yeah, so this must only produce when we actually need to use the power because this here, is still just growing in steam so that's cool so that means the power obviously has like a draw rate and then when you're drawing power does the fan spin nah no animation on the fan unfortunately that's okay we are getting wires nice and cheaply and we have a well the start of something looking kind of industrial um i will need to put some stands under this to make sure it looks like it's actually not floating in the air um we'll obviously build some more steam up this thing's actually coping pretty well the water's coping pretty well actually let's see how is the water coping up here still growing in water yeah so we've got not really any problem on the waterfront even from one of these water tanks as well we could potentially grow this and put another boiler block on top um, i think there's a quest there's a quest somewhere and multi-block goals to make a high pressure boiler somewhere get low pressure i don't know just liquid fueled I'm, i think there's a high pressure one somewhere but i'm not really i'm sure that is um as you can see also i did make the 128 steel and i've got enough to make the extra third and fourth blast furnace the brick blast furnace um, i do have those blocks somewhere there we go 40 40 fire bricks real pain to make but i'm planning on ripping those out um, and throwing them over here i do need to hollow out a ton more stuff i really want to push that wall all the way back um, and push that wall all the way back we'll have this little room in the middle here um, and hopefully we'll start looking good um, for the next episode. Um, yeah, lots still to do, but we do have some power, finally. Our first, first bits of power. So what I will do between this episode and next, what are we going to do? We're going to do some more of these. So I will get these things made. Um, nothing too crazy here. The anvil, obviously, we've made some before, but the blocks of iron are a bit ridiculous. Um, the electric piston... Yeah, wow, now that we can make cables, it's at least a bit easier. Um, one of the other blocks that would be really good to get is... Yeah, that's the electrolyzer. The ore washer would be really, really good. Um, centrifuge would be good. I mean, so many of these things would be really good. These things, you're going to hate this one, you're going to hate this two, and you're going to hate this three. All core quests, conveyor modules. Yeah it's gonna be fun so to get the plates because we're using a lot of plates now um, I might do the the forge hammer one next um, and we'll get a bunch of these machines made I do need to push this wall out definitely we're gonna fit everything in and hopefully when I come back for the next episode we will have a nice row of machines here um, we'll power them from probably underneath maybe on top I mean I'm quite liking the industrial sort of look here yeah, maybe we'll just keep the industrial look um, and power the wires up the top and have everything sort of exposed for once. Um, so I'll get those made um, and then we'll see where we go on the next episode. But still more stuff to do behind the scenes um, and more machines to make. I think that's probably about it. Yeah, we might try and get some automation happening next episode. I don't know. We'll see where we go. For now, though, I think this is as good a place as any to end this episode. Um, we've got our second set of steam running pretty efficiently, too, actually. I should have put that boiler in earlier. Um, and we're making steam not super fast, so obviously the steam will start draining a lot more uh, once we start powering more things. But we'll see how we go when we get there. Um, but yeah, we have power. Hurrah, we have entered tier two properly. 
Anyway, um, that's all from me. So as always, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.